In this three-part demonstration by Mantissa Corporation, you will be shown a small Linux kernel running under the RZ86 virtual machine product. In the first part, you will see the Linux kernel's booting process and debugging messages. The second part of the demo is the compilation and execution of a C program. This program creates a thread for the client and runs the server on another thread. The communication between the two parts is via a TCP IP connection. The third and final part of the demo is to run a disk utility in order to correct errors due to abrupt shutdowns of the kernels. This utility is how intensive. So let's start the demo. Now let's put the uh, Z86 virtual machine. We're going to answer a couple of questions now. And we're going to wait on the uh, VNC client. There it is. And we should get a screen in a few seconds. There it is too. Now I'm going to choose the uh, base Mantisa. And now we're running the virtual machine. I'm going to move the window a little bit here. See better. And now we're ready to go. Now the loader is uncompressing the uh, Linux kernel. We're about to get loaded now into RAM. There it goes. So now the kernel is running. A lot of debugging messages we're going to get here. And we should start getting the NUPIX uh, to start creating a file system. And there it goes. Now we we'll start loading some drivers and uh, pretty soon we're going to start seeing um, the, um, the devices uh, being configured for this particular uh, machine. So let me see if it's still we're still waiting on it. I believe, yeah, it's almost there. In this phase, the uh, kernel is now scanning the bus for devices, and as it finds them, it start loading the drivers. Um, this takes about 15, 20 seconds, I believe. Uh, uh, this is the plug-and-play equivalent on Windows, so it's almost finished. There it goes. Um, Finally, it's going to finalize certain drivers in the C loop. It's going to take care of that. We'll just see the C loop in a few seconds, I believe. Uh, there it goes. So, the, the next phase really is to get a prompt uh, so we can get. There it goes. In the second part of this demo, we're now going to uh, edit, compile, link, and execute the C program. Um, we're going to use the VI editor to make a change in the text. Um, we'll basically put a little message to indicate that the server thread uh, send the data to the client uh, thread. There it goes. So now we're going to make the change here. And uh, obviously, we're going to save it back. Um, and then um, we're going to run the uh, compiler and linker. And there it goes. And so there we go. That's finished now. Now we're going to run it. Very simple. And now we're going to put some uh, square brackets around the message. Uh, and you can see that the message was sent from the server and the client received it. Now we're going to go on to the second part of this demo, which is the, uh, the uh, disk uh, utility. In this third and final part of this demo, we're going to now run the disk utility. Uh, on the uh, hard drive, main hard drive. Uh, first, we need to unmount, obviously. Now we're going to run the disk utility. Uh, this disk utility uh, scans every sector on the drive. Um, and um, basically, we now finish pass one. Um, pass two should be not far behind, I believe. Then, um, after we finish with the scanning, uh, we're going to then reboot the machine. Um, and this will finalize our demo. Um, as you can see, this is a this is the live kernel. We're running DSL actually, the latest version that they have. Um, and now we're gonna there we go. Start sending some kill signals to all the processes. And the final thing is, I think, is the uh, last signal that goes right now, and it's about to reboot. So this concludes our demonstration on uh, Mantisa Z86 virtual machine. Thank you for watching.